Hi, welcome to the Godly Mom channel. Uh, here on a Saturday evening, as the sun is setting, which we can see uh, reflected in my door so gloriously. And those of you who know me know that I love my sky painter. And uh, if you ever get a chance to come on Facebook, you can see my sky album. And uh, that just might be something you can have on your coffee table soon. Praise the Lord. Okay, uh, we're going to read a little something out of God's Word tonight. It's always so good when you stop by the Godly Mom's house here, and we're on the porch enjoying a spring evening. And uh, turn with me to Luke chapter 4, and I think we'll begin at chapter, verse 14. Okay. Then Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee, and news of him went through all the surrounding region. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified by all. So he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and he stood up to read. And he was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book. I like that. And he gave it back to the attendant, and he sat down. <laughs> all done. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. Hmm, what's Jesus going to do next? He began to say to them, now notice, he sat down. He's comfortable. He's got something to say now. <laughs> Today the scripture is being fulfilled in your hearing. It is fulfilled in your hearing. So all bore witness to him, and they marveled at his gracious words, which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Hey, isn't that Joseph's boy? <laughs> is this not Joseph's son? And he said to them, You will surely say this proverb to me. Physician, heal yourself. Whatever we have heard done in Capernaum, do it also here in your own country. Hmm. And he said, Assuredly, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you truly, many widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, and there was a great famine throughout all the land? But to none of them was Elijah sent, except to Zarephath, in the region of Sidon, oh, to a woman who was a widow. And many lepers were in Israel in the time of Elisha the prophet, and none of them was cleansed except Naaman, the Syrian. <laughs> then all those in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath. Mm -mm. They rose up, and they thrust him out of the city, and they led him to the brow of the hill on which their city was built, that they might throw him down over the cliff. But he passed through the midst of them and went his way. Mm-mm. Oh, I love Jesus. <laughs> he went in that synagogue that day, and they thought, oh, how nice. <laughs> Joseph's son's going to teach. <laughs> he read the word to them. What the prophet Isaiah said of him hundreds of years before. Then he shut the book. 
He said, today, this is it. Here I am. And he sat down. See, that says that he's in authority. He's resting. His work is done. Hey, here I am. And then he challenged them. And he said, oh, you're going to say these things to me. You're going to tell me what I need to do here in Galilee. <laughs> and he says, but here's the deal. You uh, criticize those that go elsewhere when you don't accept them. Mm -hmm. Did you ever feel that way? Doing something for the Lord in your ministry or just <laughs> in the kitchen, <laughs> in the nursery, wherever, in the Sunday school room, little or big. And <laughs> the Lord wants you to know, hey, take a look at the widow of Zarephath. Ooh, how God blessed her. Go back there and read about Elijah. Yeah. And go back and read about Elisha. Praying for Naaman, the Syrian. Yeah. Naaman had leprosy. And God had the prophet Elijah tell him to go dip in the water. And it looked foolish. It looked foolish to men. <laughs> Ah, oh, has God asked you to do something? And you said, Lord, they're going to think I'm a fool. <laughs> oh, trust him today. Trust him. <laughs> because he will protect you. Look, they got mad at Jesus. And they said, oh, this guy's crazy. Joseph's son has lost his mind. He's a heretic. He's full of demons. He's crazy. He equals himself with God. And now he's challenging us. And he's saying all this nonsense to us. And you know what? Jesus let him push him a little bit. And he just, well, for lack of a better word, ladies and gentlemen, disappeared. Yeah. He just went his way. <laughs> He'll protect you today. Obey God. Do what God tells you to do. He says that surely he uses the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. <laughs> oh, oh, those old sayings, be a fool for Christ. Yeah, but oh, what the world says is foolish is never foolish. Praise the Lord. Let's pray as we look at this beautiful sunset. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending all my dear ones over today to hear the Word of God, watch the sunset with me. Lord, thank you that your wisdom far supersedes, far surpasses anything we can ask or think. So, Lord, I choose to obey you today. And for all those who are in the sound of my voice, I pray that you bless them, that they are encouraged by this word today, and that they'll understand that surely, if you call them to do something, little or big, you will equip them, you will give them the grace you will give them the strength and they'll know what to do because they have your wisdom. I pray that my dear friends will have the courage to trust you today, Lord. To know that you made us and that you care about us. And you know better than any of us. <laughs> Thank you, Sky Painter. Gracious Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for stopping by the Godly Mom's front step today, watching the sun go down with me, talking about the good things of God. Now, don't you forget, you get out there and you be shiny. 
Don't let anybody discourage you. So, love everybody. Love to my kids all over this world. Thank you for your prayer and support. And, oh, as God provides, I'll see you. Amen. Thanks for stopping by. God bless you.